you've tried to learn the solos from Entre los Aguas, but found them too fast and too difficult to learn on your own, then you're going to want to stay tuned to this video tutorial because I'm going to break it down for you step by step in a way that I think really will open your eyes to the fact that Entre los Aguas is within your reach to learn and play on the flamenco guitar. And just a friendly reminder, I invite you to like this video to help me grow this channel and subscribe too so you won't miss any of these fun and helpful flamenco guitar tutorials. My name is Ben and I help guitarists who have been trying to learn flamenco guitar on their own for years but to no avail and steer them in a the right direction to demystify the techniques and approach to this mysterious art form so that they can play flamenco guitar for their own personal enjoyment. I've been teaching flamenco guitar for over a decade to students who thought they never would be able to learn this flamenco style but if you'd like to learn then I invite you to stick around to the end of this lesson to find out how. We are on our eighth lesson in the series on how to play Entre los Aguas. Now, what you're going to be learning in this lesson are the techniques of picado and ligado. Here's a pop quiz. If you're a right-handed guitarist, which hand uses the technique of ligado? If you know the answer, type it in the comments. The first to get it right gets a free gift. Okay, well, the second thing you'll also be learning in this lesson is a trick on how to grow the strength of your fourth fretting finger, your pinky, when you're trying to get those clean notes without any buzzing up on the higher frets on the neck. So stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this. So without waiting any further, let's get started. Vámonos. This lesson will be broken up into three sections, which is this. Here's the first. <laughs> The second section is this. And here's the third section. start on the first section with the third finger on the ninth fret of the fourth string. And just a quick reminder, don't forget that you can go over to patreon.com forward slash flamenco for you to get these tabs and interactive sound slice tabs as well so you can study and get more out of this lesson. And right away we use the legato technique using our fourth finger to hammer on and pull off on the tenth fret. And remember legato is the term that we use to describe the hammer on and or pull off. This is the technique where we produce a note without plucking it. At first, yeah, you pluck it right there, but that's a hammer on, pull off right there, ligado. So it's a note that you're producing without using your right hand. Let's do it again. So we have nine, ten, nine, eight, nine. Now, right off the bat, you may be noticing that your pinky finger is already getting fatigued. So, what's the solution? The answer is this you need to first make sure that you're using momentum. To your advantage. So stick out your pinky and slam it down slightly curved like this, but not too not too curved, but you know, kind of slightly curved. Don't rely on the raw strength of your fourth finger because it really doesn't have a lot of strength. So use momentum. So this kind of momentum where you're swinging your finger down, you know, swinging it like a bat. So and second is that you need to hold down the fourth finger with your first and second fingers, okay? Like this. So I already have them down. So this way you're not relying on, once again, the raw strength of your third finger alone uh, and your fourth finger. So keep in mind that between the seventh and the tenth frets, the string is further away from the fretboard, right? And therefore, you have to use more force and precision to fret those notes up here between the seventh and the tenth. So this is a hefty task if your pinky finger is getting fatigued, right? So especially when you're using this legado, and that's what causes the fatigue. Make it easy on yourself by pressing down on the string with your first, second, and your third fingers already, okay? So do that. Press down against the fretboard so that the legado can be executed with relative ease. So there you go. You're welcome. Now as for your right hand is concerned, you're using the technique of apiando, which is the rest strokes. So after you strike a string, you're resting it on the next one. Okay, one more time on that bar. Remember, press the fingers down. Next bar. Ligado. Reach. Eleventh. Next bar. Ligado again. Now 
section two, I'm giving you the option to do this faster chromatic dissension using your third, second, and your first fingers because it's a little easier this way, like this. <laughs> But if you want your pinky to get stronger, then you can use your fourth, third, and second fingers instead, like this. Just remember to use the tip I gave you just a little bit ago where I told you to hold down the strings with your other fingers, in this case, your second finger. Here in particular, you hold it down with your first and second finger on the seventh and eighth frets. Now on these notes, we use picado, which is the equivalent to staccato, and that's indicated by the dots above in the tablature. After plucking the note, you'll mute it with the other finger to choke the note. All right, so let's run through it. Here we go. section number three, much like the first section, just ever so slightly different in the legato, in the uh, third bar of this section. So let's do it, here we go. So let's give it a run through at 80 beats per minute. Here we go. Now 145 beats per minute, here we go. Now full speed at 195 beats per minute. Here we go. found this lesson helpful and are ready to take the next step in learning the flamenco guitar along with me, then stop waiting. I've got the system that just might work for you. Book a call with me. I'd love to learn more about you, where you're at in the flamenco guitar, and you can do that by clicking on the link below or by shooting me a text at 949-992-1102. That's 949-992-1102. And that's it. Thank you once again for joining me in this lesson. And a special thanks to our supporters of this channel over at patreon.com forward slash flamenco for you. 
You'll see our top tier supporters' uh, names over here on the left-hand side of the screen. Thank you so very much for making this lessons possible. Until the next lesson, take care. Nos vemos. Bye.